Hello everyone and welcome to Face It Advanced first uh, tutorial video. Today we will talk about live widgets. They are made for streamers, so it's supposed to use on your stream. It will show your ELO statistics and everything else. And it's very simple to implement and to use. First of all, you will come into our main website. You'll go into our user face it you just instantly log in it's very fast you will wait for the, the the redirect secondly i recommend you to go into settings and connect your twitch already this is very important because the widget will get um the 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 stream start time okay so it will be always updated uh, from when you start your stream you can come into widgets to, first of all, see which type of widgets uh, exist. Normally, people use uh, this version because it's, it's simple, it's small, and uh, have everything uh, people normally need to see. Uh, and this one for the end of the game. I will show you both today. So, first of all, you go into your profile, widgets, create new. And uh, here is an important stuff. Let me refresh the page to to get our preview. So this is our pre preview in real time already. You can use fake data as well. I prefer to use the real data, of course, to see how it will appear on my stream. You can real literally customize every single thing, uh, the, the size, uh, the name of the player if you want, with your avatar, you can show your a nickname, your avatar, everything is customizable. The ELO, the wins, the, the icons, uh, loss, uh, today's ELO, um, win rate in percentage if you want, the shadow, borders, background, image, gradient, every single thing you can update. Uh, sorry, you can customize. So first of all, let's save the widget. We will copy the link. We will go into our stream. We will create a new browser source. Add. You will uh, uh, paste the your your link here, your URL here. You can customize uh, the the width and the height. Uh, so you can do like three hundred width and uh, maybe forty two here and you it will be more uh, how can i say it's it's easier to move and you don't have that big thing uh, in your stream so you can center it here and this is very simple that's the first step you have everything ready to stream for the rest of your life with your statistics right there you don't need to do anything else uh, I always like to give an advice, if something happens to your widget, if it disappears or something happens or it gets buggy, normally it doesn't happen, but if it happens you can just refresh cache and it will load again. Okay, so this is very simple, This you can do this uh, for all your widgets here. There is a special one that I would like to show you today. So, you will create a new, a final widget. Okay, this is, uh, the name is final because it really only appears one time per game. When the game ends, it will appear uh, how many ELO uh, did you lose or win, uh, your statistics in that game, and the last 20 games. It, here it says two, but it's the last 20 games. And I think you can also, um, you can also choose how many games you want to uh, appear, to appear here in the statistics. So you can customize everything, every single thing. Again, uh, take your time to see everything. Everything you can do. You can uh, literally uh, reorganize every single thing to show the statistics, uh, change the sections, everything else. We will save for now. And this is the one that we created. We will create a new browser source again, add source, put the link here. And I really recommend you to uh, put the same uh, output, the, the same um, values that you have on the output on Twitch. Okay, normally this is the default one. You can uh, close it, 
and as you can see it will be here you can also click transform and uh, stretch to screen so it will uh, occupy the, the whole screen it will fit the, the whole screen so uh, you will not see anything here and that's how it's supposed to happen uh, it will only appear uh, in the end of a game um, I will show you an example of uh, what happens when the game ends okay this is very simple let me go into my last game as you can see you end the game and it will appear right here full screen with the game starts how many elo did you win or lose in that game and everything else so that's how it's supposed to uh, work remember to put this in the front of everything so it doesn't get hide or replaced by any other element and i think that's everything for today all the widgets are ready as you can see it's very simple to implement very customizable and uh, i see you soon in the next video about our twitch extension that will be very funny as well okay so see you soon i hope you keep using uh, face it advanced bye bye